What's up everyone? I am Magicide. Welcome back to our Geek Fest here playing Crusader Kings 2 as Lombard Salerno. The last time we left off, I said I was going to play the game on my own just a little bit, just to let some time pass. And uh, there were some interesting things that happened that I want to talk about right before we get into this. The first of which is that we were getting hit by a whole bunch of disease. We're not getting hit by disease now, but we did. We ended up having camp fever over here, and I shut the gates. My monarch here, Ema, ended up contracting typhus and being cured of typhus, and then there was smallpox that was developing over here that actually stretched out into our realm but didn't actually touch Salerno. So that happened. The other thing that happened was I started to build a few things, and it really sucked because I had a whole bunch of money, and I I did something. I did something that cost a whole bunch. Uh, I don't remember what it was. Maybe I think I improved, um, what was it, Palermo's Castle Town, I believe. And just like that, it always happens this way. You build something, you, run out, you don't have the money, and then all of a sudden your spy master does his job and fabricates the claim. The claim was like, 900 and some gold and it would have put me in some massive debt so i had to let it go because we're trying to currently fabricate a claim over here on pisa so that happened we didn't get that claim but what we did do is we now own this province here we ended up taking it away from the hre that's right i attacked the hre for this province here there was some some person this guy here who I was able to push his claim, and we were able to take that over. So that was good. The other thing that happened was, let's zoom out. Look at this awesome, awesome border gore. I have no idea what the hell happened here, but the Aztec Empire is starting to break apart. I have literally no idea how it happened. I don't know if there was just a huge independent faction or independence faction, and he acquiesced and just let all these people go free. Or if there was some sort of revolt and they somehow won. Or maybe... I, I don't know. I don't even think that that's a thing here in the vanilla game. I know it is in the Game of Thrones mod as far as granting independence. I, I don't know if that's even possible. But look at this. There is all of this territory here. And what's weird about it is it's actually the Isle of Man that owns all of this. So let's actually uh, take a look at him. This man here owns all of the Isle of Man stuff. And unfortunately, he's not Norse, he's not Scottish or anything else. He is Nahuatl, and he's an Aztec pagan. That's going to work out into our benefit, because once we are able to declare independence ourselves, all of these territories that are owned by these Nahuatl guys, we're just going to straight up holy war and holy war and holy war. That is definitely looming on the horizon. Let's take a look at the Mr. Emperor himself. He still has 42,000 troops, so it's going to be a while before we do that. The other thing I was thinking about is after I stopped the last episode and then played on my own just for a short while, it wasn't too much time. Uh, I only played for maybe about 20, 30 minutes or so. But the thing that we need to be cognizant of is the Seljuk Turks here because these guys are big and mean and scary this guy here has 41,000 troops. Holy Jesus. And guess what? He is now bordering us. Um, so, yeah, I really kind of want to stay under the Aztec Empire's wing so this man doesn't set his sights on Italy. That would suck. There's no way we could defend against that without the actual emperor's help. Um, the other thing is there is a crusade that's going on right now. It is the crusade for Greece. And if we go ahead and take a look here, there's <laughs> the few remaining Catholic people that are in the world right now. And it's funny, though. He's actually winning this war. I have no idea how he's doing it. I am astounded. I saw that he called the the crusade, and I was tempted to do it, but I was like, uh, 40-some thousand troops. I don't think I really want to do that. So he's actually winning his other war. So I think what he's doing right now is he's actually concentrating on this war, this revolt, and then he'll probably end up marching all of his troops over and smashing Christendoms. 
you know, I'm almost half tempted. I'm going to have to pay attention to the war score because if we can get in on it like uh, at the last minute and become a crusader ourselves, we're going to do that. Uh, but that's pretty much where we left off. Uh, I have decided that instead of fabricating claims on anything else, we are going to just keep marching north and try to take over the rest of this stuff because I, I would like, if it's possible, that when we declare independence that we're going to have the option of actually forming the empire which should be the empire of italia which interestingly enough it doesn't actually include any of our southern area because i think it's de jour part of the byzantine empire what's left of it anyways so uh, anyways um let's get on let's uh let's do our thing here okay so i held a summer fair I have a couple of weak claims on stuff that I don't want. I suppose what I could do is I could try and look for claimants, but I don't have any more territory territory to actually give and push their claims. So the only thing I would be able to do here is actually look at my vassals and scroll through them and see if they any of these guys have claims on anything juicy. That's outside of my realm, that is. Looks like it's all inner inner realm intrigue. Uh, would you like to... Uh, no. I don't want to back any claim. Oh, and one other thing happened is, is that we actually managed to get the next level of legalism. Um, right now, we're just trying to set it to harsh city tax. Uh, I think since we have the money... Maybe we should try to pause the game just real fast and take a look. I think most of our vassals are going to say no. Because I think most of them hate us. Okay, so you, that's not going to make you like me. Um, let's just try to get these people... Okay, so I already gave her a gift. We have the money... I'd really hate to just waste the money by improving relations this way. Wow, you're expensive. Oh, man. Um, okay, you're cheap. And the rest of these guys... Let's see here. Let's just scroll through some of these guys. Okay, you're cheap. You're expensive. You're expensive. You're really expensive. Uh, what about this man here? All these goddamn city vassals. No. Okay, you work. Let's uh, send you a little bit of money. All right. Let's hope that that does it. So I, I have the option of uh, holding feasts. That's the other thing I was doing is, is I set this to uh, give me the update when I was able to do it. The throw a bunch of summer fairs and feasts. And I built a soup kitchen. That's right, because after I had the typhus epidemic, I said, fuck it, and I upgraded my hospital a little bit. Still can't improve my retinue, or increase it anyways. Alright, so my beautiful black sun here has gained a temperate. You know, one thing I forgot to mention was is that uh, when I first started off, besides the whole typhus thing, is that I had a couple of problem vassals and I was able to arrest them and they both evaded my arrest chances. So I basically went up there and kicked their ass and threw them in oubliettes. Okay, I don't want to arrest him because he likes us a whole bunch. And looks like we have some raiders over here. Um, so what I think I should do, uh, just real fast, is what we're going to do is raise our vassal levy here. Uh-oh, we got a dangerous faction. For this one here, well, we're going to try to kill her. Let's see here. Is there anybody else that wants to join in on this? Um, 
Come on, somebody. Somebody, uh, anybody else? Come on, a little bit. Nobody. Nobody yet, anyways. I'm sure uh, opinions will change over time. Besides, we should have uh, plenty of, whatchamacallit. You know, I can actually stand you guys down. I don't need all these extra troops over here. Okay, so let's take all of our ships and send them over here. Wait, what's going on here? There we go. Okay. Sail. Stand you guys down, and since I have these random vassals around here, let's uh, stand those guys down too. Pretty sure that's all I have. It's just some random dudes in like Germany and Poland territory. Oh shit, I lost Temperate. Well, that sucks. God damn it. That means I'm going to lose that stewardship. Okay, the peasants of Syracuse. Right, so I get to spend some money, get some prestige. That's okay with me. kick these raiders out. They've been sitting there for quite a while. They just didn't have enough money to actually succeed. Wow. So I think the this crusade is actually I'm really surprised. I just saw like a huge stack of what looked like holy, holy orders. Okay, let's um we got a siege leader. We don't need him. Um yes. Go, my men. Get these guys out of my territory. Okay, so I really need somebody else to join in on this because I don't have 100%. And it doesn't look like I really have any options. I don't want to take my spy master to do it. But where are you located? Uh, okay, so it's actually... Where's your husband located? He's dead. So it's actually this province right here, right? But you're leading troops somewhere. Um, where is... No. God damn it. Okay, so I think that is her title, uh, or his, her area. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and plop our Spymaster down, just for a little while. I really hate to do that, because I want the technology. Excellent, and it's going to pop right away. So this guy's going to come over to... Uh, the Byzantine areas, and while, while I don't really care about that, I don't want him marching back over into my territory. Okay, wait, 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 wait. hold a second there, game. Spymaster here died. Um, we can have my husband. So, I'm gonna actually have him go back to studying technology since my plot started. And is it the same person? Yep, it's the same person. Can we send this guy a gift? No, we already gave him gifts. Okay, we'll give him Master of Horse then. That'll make him like us a little bit more. <coughs> nice. Oh, well, I was discovered. That sucks. But goodbye, faction. And we have another dangerous faction, again, for Gavelkind. Who is it doing it now? It's the same guy here. Why are you so pissed off at me? You actually own territory. So you're just, what, some count. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck this guy. His name is... Uh, Dietwin. Okay, um, how about this woman right here? Um, 
let's transfer Vassal. I want to this German man here. And he can go piss off. I know he was one of my commanders. That was the unfortunate part about actually having him being tucked underneath somebody else. But that's fine with me. That's okay. No more problem vassals, goddammit. God, these guys just keep running away. Just, oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Um, yes. So why do we have lupus? Okay, so now I'm stressed. And I'm old. Well, whatever. It doesn't really make a difference to me. So it looks like he's just going to play ping pong here. So we'll do that. If I take off the stewardship focus, I'm, I think I'm going to end up having being over my, my domain size. The question is, should I do that? Um, you know what? Let's let's go for carousing. We're not in any war. As a matter of fact, let's let's do that. Um, and our husband here, let's give him a little bit of money. Let's demand religious conversion. God damn it! It did, actually did do it. Shit. Um, so we'll start inviting some of these guys. I'm not going to go through the entire list. I'm just going to do like my counts and dukes and stuff. All these people, all this like internal fighting, they just keep fighting each other. God, this is so tedious. Come on, ladies and gents. Let's go partying. Um, let's do your. I already sent you an invite. Uh, let's do it the rest of my council. Oh wow, you're, you're terrible. Uh, is there somebody better? There is. Um, shit though, he's in seclusion. Let me just check real quick here. Let's go to find character, join court, yes. And I want somebody with... There we go. We'll get both of these men. Uh, we'll invite you to court. And we'll invite you to court. So we want Michael. We need to replace our kinsmen there. Awesome. So our husband has now converted. I don't want to scroll through this too fast because I did invite a couple guys to court. So I got this Muslim man here. I think he was the only one that said yes so far. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace our Chancellor with somebody a hell of a lot better. And we'll go back to fabricating claim over here on Pisa. What I probably should do is actually look for a new Spy Master as well. Um, so let's... Oh, wow. He's got cancer, though. He's going to die. How about... Can I actually have this woman... We'll invite them both, just in case. I don't really want to replace my husband and piss him off, but that's just the way that's going to have to go. Alright, so... Let's pause again real quick and take a look. So we can get this man here. And let's have him go study me some tech. Uh, give him uh, the master of horse. Let's send our spy master a little bit of money. Same thing with our new chancellor, by the way. Um, you're what, Jewish? No, he's Orthodox. So let's get him to convert. So we get an 
another kinsman here. Um, he's zero years old. I don't care. Just that chick there. One of the problems is is that these guys just keep retreating. So there's this back and forth ping ponging, and I want to make sure that he this this group over here actually dies. Because otherwise he's going to recuperate his troops. And then he's going to go right back to raiding. It sucks though because I actually raised my vassal levy to do this. But whatever. It's fine with me. Oh, 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 wait, wait. He's, uh, he's changing course here. Um. Oh, nice. Nice. There we go. Awesome. Oh, please. <laughs> Don't become wounded. Oh, thank you. Alright, um... Let's stand on our troops then. We don't need them around because the Aztecs actually did their job. And the papacy here is... They're still winning. Um, so what I'm tempted to do here is actually join in on this. And get the Crusader trait. Um, yes. Let's, let's do this crusade. <laughs> the moment I do it, he dies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. Uh, that's right. The, the papacy doesn't exist anymore. Okay, so the new pope. Let's uh, join his war. Let's do it. Oh, do I lose stress? Did I lose it? Nope. I'm still stressed. Okay, awesome. So what we're gonna do here, let's uh, let's take a look here. Can I rent out any of these holy orders? They're all rented out. Um, so what I need to do is go into my minor titles. Let's replace this man. Actually, what I need to have happen here is I need to be able to lead my own troops, um, and then I need to make my son, which is Malort. Oh, Lord. Guess what, buddy boy? You're going to uh, start leading me some troops. Um, let's go ahead. And, wow, man. My vassal levy is pretty awful. So, let's see here. I've got 90 troops over here. We'll just stand them down. I don't need them. And, let's see here. Okay, so I still have a couple of troops. So what I'll do is we'll have you guys all merge up and still have a couple of ships over here. So we'll send them on their merry little way. Boy, wouldn't that be nice if Christendom actually ended up taking this over? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is... I'm going to put my son... Let's see, where are you at? There you are. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just straight up walk over. Because I'm, I'm in no fear of being attacked right now. And I should get the Crusader trait. Uh-oh. I need a new commander here. Um, you're a genius. You're strong. Let's set up separated by rank. Okay. Uh, we'll take this problem vassal. Actually, it really sucks. I don't understand why my vassal, my vassal levy here is so low. Nice. All right. So, so now that I'm a crusader, let's stop myself from leading troops. Let's take a look at our son. He is a crusader too. So what we're going to do 
is we're going to put a install a new commander. Let's do the same thing we did before. We'll put this man here and I don't care. Just the rest of you guys can go right in there. Um I guess we'll just we'll just siege it out. I mean It's not a big contribution, but it is a contribution. Every little bit helps here. And then you guys, I'm gonna sail you right on over, and we're gonna attack this area here. We're gonna keep try to keep our troops together. I'm really surprised that this is actually going through. Actually, you know what I should do is I have the siege leader here, so we'll put him in charge. Oh, this will be great. This will be so good if Christendom can take back this land. I actually don't really care who owns it. I just don't want the Seljuks to own it. So where are all their troops? They have like 30-some thousand troops, right? Yeah, they have 33,000 troops. Where the hell are they? Oh, it doesn't make a difference anyways. Uh, we're going to win. The crusade. <laughs> this is going to be the first crusade that actually that actually uh, is successful. Alright, let's uh, pick up the rest of our dudes here. And uh, we'll sail them right on over. Okay, come on, men. Yeah, that's right. Go over to another province. Okay, so he's actually... He's got a, a stack of 7,000 over here. I'm going to wait for him to actually attack this group, and then I, I think I'm going to jump in on that. Because he's going to need a hand. Oh, nope. Stay there. Unfortunately, I might have to abandon my siege here. Okay, so what I should do is actually march our troops on over because he's going to march his stack of 7,000 and put you guys over here. All right, booyah. Now we got the uh, the defense bonus. Okay, and we'll stand my ships down here because we don't need them. And I think what we should do is probably march our troops down to Reggio just in case this uh, stack over here ends up... Oh, <laughs> look at that! <laughs> that one battle, baby! So what I'm going to... Oh, I was going to say I could potentially just assault this, but I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, nice. So that's 100%. We win. Christendom wins. Oh, so we did finish the siege. Nice. Look at this. Get some, motherfucker! Yeah! So, wait, wait, let's pause the game here. Galicia owns it. Oh my god. That's pretty amazing. And it's totally like Catholic now, right? Catholic and Castilian. Oh, I love it. The, the only problem is, is he has pretty much nothing for troops. Wow, this game has been incredibly interesting. I can't believe everything that has happened. This is great. <laughs> okay, so I can hold a feast, but uh, I think I actually want to do another round of carousing. Let's see here. I think some of these people said no before. Uh, you said yes. Um... So, Paradox, if any of you guys end up watching this, uh, it would be really great if you guys implemented, like, a quality of life change where there was a decision to in send out carousing invites, like in the Game of Thrones mod. Or maybe even show, show me a detailed list of the people that are eligible for me to send the carousing invites to. Because of all my vassals that say no... There's no point in me trying to invite them again. 
You know what? I have some uh, commanders here that did some some uh, pretty good job here. So we're gonna invite them, these men. Does he actually like that? Let's uh, send him a gift and uh, get him to convert. We can stand these guys down. And then we'll do the same thing with the rest of our military. Wow, look at our vassal levy. Like, what the fuck? It was so huge before, and now it's so low. Like, what is going on here? Why is this so incredibly low? This is retarded. So I guess I'll get the socializer trait, and then I'll go back to stewardship or rulership or whatever it's called. Let's see here. Benevento could be improved. Um, keep, let's do the Castle Town. Try to make as much money as possible. Although I, I need to start working on the keeps next because that's what's going to give us more money. I mean, uh, more troops. So we have a new faction. Let's, uh, let's make them happy. Very, very interesting. So I no longer have to worry about the Seljuk Turks. As long as they don't come back and start attacking these guys. I'm just really surprised here. This is, uh... Very interesting, to say the least. My god. So he still has a whole bunch of troops. So it looks like I just became best besties with my uh, Chancellor. It works for me. The same guy here. Okay, my chance to kill him is not good enough. Um... Did we lose stress? Oh, look at that. We're no longer stressed. That's the easiest way to get rid of stressed and depressed. There are other chances to get rid of it, like if with hunting, if you have a hunting dog, and then uh, family is another good option. So these guys are just raiders. Um, I guess we can do another summer fair. You know what sucks is I, I actually have a claim down here in Abyssinia through my husband. If we look at the weak claims, like I can come down here and claim all this stuff and actually probably win. I don't know about now. I don't understand what happened to all my troops because I had a whole, access to a whole bunch more with my... Oh, there we go. I, I don't understand this. It went down to like, what was it, like 1,200 or 1,400. Now it's back up to 4,400. I'll take it. I mean, I'm not going to complain about it. I'm just wondering what the hell happened. But anyways, I could come down here and press this claim on my husband, and then our children would end up inheriting it. But the problem is, the problem that I have with that, I would actually have to sail my troops and walk them all the way down. And in order for me to actually feel comfortable doing that, I need to actually have enough troops to overwhelm her, which I don't. So we have a 25% chance of getting gregarious. We are not gregarious. That's too bad. Looks like a uh, shaft man. He's ready to get married. Make some more beautiful black babies. Out of all the different religions... You know what would be nice to see is actually like some of the Neo-Astorian guys, but I think they're all gone because I think uh, most of their provinces are like somewhere around here. So, hello. Um, let's see if we can find you a suitable candidate here. Uh, do we have any geniuses? We do. We have a five-year-old. All right. So, let's hard save our game because that was pretty awesome with the whole Grecian crusade. I'm really surprised that actually won. I, I was sitting there ignoring it. When I first saw it, I actually laughed my ass off. I couldn't believe that there was actually going to be a crusade for that. But I'm just so surprised. I can't believe that they won. I mean, these guys have some 30, 30 plus thousand troops. And with the Pope and the degradation of Christendom, I didn't, I didn't see it happening. 
even with all the holy orders. But somehow, somehow it did. This is some gorgeous border gore. Look at this. <laughs> what the hell is your problem there, lady? Let's give her some money. And let's take a look at our laws. It's still not changing. So we have a whole bunch more people. I think I already sent this woman a gift. Yes, I did. Okay, what about this man? <sighs> okay, I, I mean, I, I would really like this law to go through, if that's possible, before I die. I don't want to have to spend all this money doing it. It's expensive. Okay, I already gave you money. I think I already gave these children some cash. Maybe not this one. Okay. Well, this man here. And watch, after I pay all these people off, what's going to end up happening is, is I'm going to get that. I'm going to get my claim. Um, so I already sent you a gift, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, let's take a look at these. God damn, they're so expensive. Okay, that bishop there looks good. The other thing I was thinking about is when we actually become independent, if we do indeed become independent, is that I want to take over the papacy. I mean, I want to vassalize the papacy, and the only way we're going to be able to do that is if we set up an anti-pope. I've never done that before. I'm actually really curious to see how that goes. Um... So I have a new granddaughter here. He's weak, but he has Toledo. And he's my kinsman. Where is where is this guy? Where is this kid located? Do I do I own Toledo? Which one where are you? Okay, so I don't want you. Don't want your bad genes. Okay, let's look. Is there no geniuses? Wick. We have a five-year-old here. Five-year-old kinsman. We got this other kid here who has a random claim on something. Um, we'll take the kinsman. Okay, so when's the next time I can go crossing? All right. Nice. So that actually went through. We should be making some more money now. Um, so 26... Of 1200 oh so that's like in a short amount of time okay so but no he's already patrolled dude all right let's pause again and send out some more carousing invites um, Okay, I already did you. No, I didn't. Okay, so send you the crossing invite. Right. Do the same thing. We'll just do my uh, top level vassals, my counts, my dukes, my aces, my deuces. Okay. So tedious. But I do have to say, it's a really good way of getting a little bit of an opinion boost with some of these guys by sending out the invites. Uh, okay. Eh, I already sent you. Okay. Looks good. So we'll get our socializer trait. And so got another commander died. Boy, these guys just keep croaking on me. I guess the one downside is is that I could have jumped in on this crusade and contributed a whole bunch of war score and the Pope man might have given me the land. That would have been awesome. Oh shit, we have slow fever now. Okay, let's uh let's shut our gates, by the way. Well we can't because we're in the middle of carousing, of course. Uh let's move our retinue out of the way at least. Summon of a biznatch. I saw there was a new epidemic around me. 
Um, let's separate it by rank again. Um, let's take one of these, one of these vassals here. Um, yeah, you look, you're my steward though. I'm going to choose somebody that has like low opinion, but has decent martial. And it doesn't really look like I have many people to choose from. So do that. Let's take a look at our laws again. Um, the next law that I want to pass is probably church taxation to large. That's going to be our next goal. Something else I did in uh, the time that I spent in between episodes is I actually improved our siege equipment. And I don't remember if I did it on camera or not, but I improved our construction as well. Okay, so it looks like my son here is ill. It's fine. Where the hell are the Aztecs going? What is going on here? You guys should be attacking the Pope. Uh, oh wow, he's incapable. That was a guy I just invited in my court too. Um, so we'll do my spy master, I suppose. And you also need a guardian. Um, I don't care, just somebody that's Lombard. Not that man though. Um, boy, all these people suck ass. Uh, sure. How about this man here, my court physician? And he's actually attacking one of my vassals here. So wait a minute, the Pope is actually winning here. So I'm, I'm just going to let them siege me down. I don't care. I, I would actually hope that the Pope would, would win. So let's become a socializer. Very good. And uh, looks like we still have... What is it? Typhoid. Okay. So let's uh, shut our gates. And when's the next time I can actually change my focus? It's going to be 12.03. So in another two years. Fine. Works for me. Jesus Christ, man. Um, I might need to start looking for some new commanders. Because this is getting awful. Okay, so my court physician is saying that this cousin of mine... <clears throat> yeah, throw her out. She's sick. So my daughter here, <clears throat> throw her out too. And call for the court physician. Hurry up, man. I'm kicking a lot of people out of my gates. But that's just the way it's going to have to be. So what is this war over here? It's the Burgundian Holy War for Champagne. So where are you located at? Okay. So how come you guys get to do a holy war, but I can't? Like, if, if we just pause the game real quick. Uh, Grenada, you guys are Catholic. Wow, you guys have really conquered this area. Nice job. So if we take a look at this man here, I have to have a... Eval oh, I'm not bordering him, that's why. Huh. Well, I am bordering these guys, though. Like, I should be able to theoretically... So I have du jour claims on stuff. But I can't holy war him. I don't understand that. Why? But let's see here. Um, he owns that directly. But that's a vassal. Okay, you're Catholic. So I think what I'd have to do is actually... Right. Okay. Never mind then. So, what is this guy? He is actually Burgundy. So we have Burgundy, we have the Isle of Man, and we have Bedford, and Upland. Strange. So weird. It looks like the Aztecs might have split again. Holy shit, look at that. Iceland is independent. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. 
If I only owned a little bit of property up here, I could just holy war these guys. Okay, do we still have an epidemic? We do. Okay. Man, I just, I'm getting the paradoxian hose here with these minor epidemics. They just keep strolling on in into our proper, uh, into our real estate. Um, you know, let's call you, I don't know what to call her. What should I call her? Give me some, uh, give me some ideas out there. You know what? I'm drinking High Life tonight, so we're going to call you High Life. And let's, uh, marry her off to somebody, of course. Uh, I think there was some genius children. There was not. Okay, so we'll look for her quick. I have a nine-year-old kid here. Let's do that. Well, it looks like Pope Man's gonna lose. Wait, what just happened here? His, uh, his... His war score just shot up. Okay, so I need a new steward here. Which is gonna have to be him. I'm gonna have to replace him as a commander. Right? No, it was my designated regent. So... Let's separate this by stewardship again. Uh, this man's German, though. Uh, we don't want him. You're ambitious. You're Lombard. Um, this guy looks okay. We'll have him. So somehow the Pope is winning his war here. I have no idea how. The papal claim on Würzburg. How in the hell is this man winning this? The Burgundians are going to win their war, which is good, because I'm assuming they're going to take land away from... Is this guy independent? He is independent, so he's going to take take over from these Nahuatl guys. And you are Christian. Catholic. Awesome. That's what I want to see. So the papacy has... Why does the papacy have Aztec troops? What's going on here, game? What is up with this? So he now has 75% war score. How? How is this man winning? I don't understand this. What's going on with this? <laughs> There's some, like, wacky shit going on right now. Okay, so I have diarrhea now. That sucks. I am getting up there on age, though. Okay, so now I have abdominal pain. Pretty soon I'll be able to change my focus in a few more months. Okay, so a child of my, a guardian, or excuse me, a kinsman needs a guardian. So let's uh, let's have another commander. Um, yes, this one right here, Apollonia. Okay, so let's uh, seek treatment. Yeah, the Pope is still winning his war. No, I don't want to open the gates. God damn it. Well, so much for that. Well, I guess we can uh, hold a summer fair in the middle of this epidemic. Sure. Maybe that'll keep their mind off of things. So I'm, I'm assuming the Burgundians won their war. I don't remember which province he actually claimed. Whatever. He won some war. I think. I'm pretty sure he had some pretty high uh, war score there. So I now have dysentery. How old am I now? 53. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting pretty close here. Uh, yeah, let's try something new. Awesome. The pot in which Indolf brought with him to your chambers emitted a strange buzzing sound. Before you could stop him, he threw it on you. <laughs> so he threw a, basically a beehive. Or no, a pot full of bees. Okay. Well, I get a bunch of health and some other bonuses. 
I'll take that. So we're just waiting for another month to pass, and then we'll go back to the rulership. Actually, you know what? I think I might end up taking the business focus, because that should probably give us enough stewardship, I'm assuming, to take care of our domain problem here. Well, so it looks like if the Pope's troops go away, I mean... His war should be done. Right? So he just got some more war score, didn't he? Wasn't it like 81%? Or, or am, I am I tripping balls here? Um, yeah, let's do business. Oh, it's 15 August. Wait. Oh, I have an I've got another year to wait. Okay. Very well. So my area here is sick. Nice. It's been a little while. Let's uh, actually hard save our game here. This is some like wacky shit. I don't, I, I really don't understand how the Pope is going to win this. Like, he doesn't own any more land, does he? He does. He just owns the... Bishopric. Prince Archbishopric. Okay, so I lost dysentery. That's pretty great. Oh, please don't come and attack my my uh, retinue. Don't be an asshole. Okay, so the Byzantines want to approve limited crown authority. And yes, absolutely. Wait a minute. So what happened to these guys? They they formed Greece, right? But it's still the Castilian guys. The Galician. Okay. So. You guys just have the Kingdom of Greece. But it's not part of the Byzantines. That works for me. Alright, so we just imprisoned some random bishop. Let's, um. Make everybody like us a little bit. And replace another commander so just out of curiosity like how many how many troops you guys have now 10,000 okay and you guys like us right I mean kind of sort of <laughs> I'm gonna watch the Pope win his war what is going on here 99% like is it just because his army exists? I mean, how is he getting war taking war score here? Okay, so the Pope's gonna win. For... He wants this province here. So wait, what's going on here? Where's the Pope? What happened to the Pope? What happened here? Um, so what was his peace offer? I don't understand. You greedy bastard. He won't give us any money. He likes us too. Oh man, why? But the but the Pope won. 
let me let me look at something. Let me let me pause. So did he just grab like what? No. I really don't understand what happened. So the Pope won the war. Whatever. I, I don't know. No idea what's going on here. Um, and Mr. Aztec Man here still has 46,000 troops. And we have roughly 200 years, 250 years left of this game. The Mongols still have not arrived. And some really weird, weird things have happened. Let's take a look at our weak claims here. Let's pause just real fast. Um, I want to take a look at this and see if we could possibly push another claim here. So a son-in-law, court chaplain. Uh, okay, there's my husband. No. No. So my friend. Okay, so I can do Luxembourg. That's way up there. I don't want to do that. That's too far. I want to try to keep it close to home. No. So it doesn't look like... Okay, so I can claim that province way up there from the HRE. I have no interest in that at all. Is it possible I can attack the HRE again? I mean, is there any things I can do here? No, I don't want... I really don't want any of these provinces. I can eat... Wait, what province was this? Savoy, right? Okay, so it's this up here. So I don't understand. Um, okay, these are just random people here. God damn, I just want to, I want, I want to go to war. I want to get some more territory here. Who actually owns this? Some other Catholic guy. Um, we're going to call you Old English. Some motherfucking OE. 40 ounces of flavor. All right, so uh, let's do the same thing. Genius. Quick. Okay, he's 25. Yeah, I guess this guy will do just fine. Let's take a look at our retinue situation again. Okay, so we're still there. Still sitting in the same old, same old. Um, so we have some money here to do some stuff. Um, Palermo here could use another holding. How much is that going to cost? Almost 800 gold. So let's save our coin for a while. So a whole bunch of non-aggression packs have just ended. Um, can I form alliances with you guys? That'd be pretty swell. Yeah, let's do that. And... Oh, I can go carousing again. That's right. Um, I should be able to change it. Let's uh, switch it over to business. So that, that takes care of that problem. And maybe we'll get the event chain to uh, get some money. Money, money, money. It'd be really nice. So I got some allies now. That's good. Okay, so... All right. So one of my alliances just immediately broke down. Everybody's still trying to kill my very handsome black husband here. My Ethiopian black husband. This man's sexy. He's uh, he's strong. He's produced me some, uh, some very awesome heirs. Children. Try to mix it up a little bit. We really will have a cultural melting pot here. Okay, we can hold a feast. Uh, let's do it again. I know it kind of sucks watching me uh, scroll through all these menus. 
all these little pop-ups for these feasts. But it's going to help out our relationships with everybody. Um, let's send out my marshal here to hunt the boar. I will spend lavishly, please. God damn it! I want some more land. Give me some claims, fool. What about these guys? These guys are independent. No. Uh, he won't do it. Um. Hmm. What about these guys? Can I declare war on you? Okay, so some random... You know what? Um, I really want Pisa, but I think I'll have a better chance of actually taking uh, Orbitello. So, we're going to move our Chancellor on over here. I would really like Rome. If we had Rome, if we had the option of getting Rome, I would absolutely take it. And what I would do is set up an anti-pope and immediately install him. So I'd have a vassal pope. Okay, so what happened here? Uh, my spy master either got caught or died. Give me some technology, sonny boy. Uh, we'll make you master hunt and we will send you gifts. Make you like us a little bit more, and we need a new commander. We got a crusader man here. Okay. I don't think there was a special decision for the business focus, right? Okay, so I lose a whole bunch of money. I don't really want to do that. That increases our piety by doing that. Besides, I think this guy, yeah, this is the greedy one. He won't give us any money anyways. Bastage. So to build this other holding down here, that was like almost 800 gold. So I'm thinking I'm going to wait until I actually get up to 1800 and then I'm going to do it. Which won't take long at all. The Croatian War against the Aztec Empire? What? Wait, whoa. What's going on here? Why are you doing this, dude? You, <laughs> you have under 4,000 troops and the Aztecs have 55,000 what the hell whatever I mean there I think there's still some more splitting going on so I'll, I'll take it it's okay with me soon very soon we're gonna have the money Looks like we can do a summer fair. Let's throw another one of those. Maybe we'll actually become gregarious. Probably won't make much of a big difference here because we're 55 and old. And gonna die at some point. How old is my heir, by the way? He is 25, okay. So when I die, I'm gonna have a nice young heir. Um, sure. You know what? We're pretty close with the money situation. Let's just go ahead and build it. I built a castle down here. I think what I'll do is... I really need the troops, though, so let's just continue to build castles. And the other castle here is I actually made a kinsman. The... The Baron. So, wait. Who... How is this man your vassal? We're going to retract... We're going to retract him. He should be my vassal. God damn it. I, I built this shit here. Okay. Is he in my prison now or is he? did he get released? I'm assuming he got released, right? You are... Where are you located? Okay, so you're in this woman's dungeon. And I don't think I can do anything about releasing him. Okay. Um, just real quick, I just want to take a look. Make sure that the rest of these sub-vassals are my vassals. That's really strange. I don't understand when I built this that it should have been my vassal, goddammit.
You know what? I think I'm going to call it an episode here. I've been playing for over an hour. I need a break. Let's uh, hard save our game here. I'm going to take a short break, and I will be back to play some more. I want to, I want to pass some more time and watch this very interesting game proceed. So I will see you then.